Hey folks, it is Medros, and oh boy, it, it's been quite, quite the last few hours. Um, we're about 14 hours after things started up in uh, New Zealand, and we have incredible shiny reports. So, uh, GoFest hasn't started for me yet, but we are getting reports of shiny unknown. Uh, they spell Go, so just G-N-O, it's only two letters. Uh, additional new shinies that were not announced, not even hinted at. Uh, we have Tangela, uh, we have Quillfish, we have Woobat, Heatmore, and Durant. As well, Jigglypuff as a shiny can be in the wild. As well, Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle have Pikachu visors, the one you've seen a lot of the YouTubers uh, getting from Niantic. They're wearing those and they can be shiny in the wild as well. They, I think it's mostly incense spawns though. I don't know that, I don't know you'll see a lot of those off of incense. Uh, eggs, basically all the babies are back in 7 kilometer eggs, along with Galarian Pokemon and Veneeries in there too. I don't know if that's considered a baby or not. Uh, as well, as well, we have Rotom appearing in a photobomb. Uh, we will see that when my GoFest goes live in just a little bit, but it's super exciting already. Uh, it's been crazy watching people getting all these shinies. Uh, shiny rates seem to be lower than expected, so I guess we'll see how that pans out throughout the day. And yeah, so I'm gonna finish preparing for my stream and I will probably record with you guys for the first few minutes of the event. Maybe I'll get a first shiny, who knows? We'll see, but we'll talk to you soon. Hey folks, it is Medros and the event has begun. I completely forgot to record here. So we're gonna do a quick recording of the first little bit here. Uh, we are currently about six minutes into the event. It's really great shines. Oh, shiny Phoebus, this would be pretty cool. It isn't shiny, but I mean, we know I'm not getting shiny Phoebuses, come on. But I've checked everything around here, the Meryl, the Wubat, the Clefairy, the Jigglypuff, the Eevee, none were shiny, that Jigglypuff is not shiny. So at this point we're just waiting for new spawns. We've already claimed our 200 Great Balls from the Professor, and at some point we'll take a snapshot of our, uh, our buddy. Because we want that Rotom. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's to Togetix there. Let's take a snapshot of this buddy. Actually, you know what? We're going to switch out our buddy first. Uh, which buddy do we want to take a picture of? We'll do Terrakion. And the play. I said play. That seems to be. Oh, chain check. Not shiny. This have green eyes if it was shiny. Let's try this one more time. Better results there. There we go. And that will be a photobomb from Rotom. I don't know how many you can get. I know people who got two. So that'll be good to know. But we'll kind of see how many we get. We'll do some uh, do some photobombs later and see how many others we get. Uh, but we will get Rotom here as soon as we're done getting our buddy up to all his hearts for the day. There you go. There's Rotom. We have to spawn the world. There we go. He'll be there for a bit, so we're going to pause that and we're going to check with Clefairy. Not shiny. I know he can run, so I'm just going to go in the Raz and Ultra Ball him. Great throw. And there's a new Pokedex edition. Our first Rotom. That's pretty cool. Is any good? <laughs> no. I mean, no. Not, not, I mean, not at all good. All right. So, folks and YouTube land, uh, we are going to pause there. Clearly, they're still having major issues with the servers. Uh, but we're going to pause the recording there, and we'll be back with our first shiny of the day. Hey, folks. As I promised, here is my first shiny of the day. Shiny Jigglypuff. Don't have this one. Definitely love this one. Love the green eyes. Gonna catch it. 
and we're gonna move on because we got lots more to catch. It is only 22 minutes in the event and we're already just rocking. Love, love it. There we go, we got it. And let's move on to our next shine check. All right, we'll be back in just a bit, but we have our first shiny. Only 22 minutes into 10 hours of GoFest day one. All right, folks, well, apparently it's welcome to shiny Jigglypuff Calm Day today because we have a second shiny Jigglypuff. So now we will have a shiny Wigglytuff and we didn't need a shiny Jigglypuff at that point. Then we're good. But that's a hatch, not a catch. So, but if we ever get through this challenge uh, for the gifts, I'll open some gifts and get some eggs and maybe we'll get a shiny one from that. All right, there we go. Second shiny Jigglypuff. Two shinies for the first hour, both Jigglypuff. We will see what happens next. So we'll be back soon. Hey, folks. Uh, so, yeah, you, you'll see, as I'm talking here, you're going to see a few things I've caught while I was uh, unable to record, because uh, I'm an idiot, apparently, and my battery charger was not plugged into the USB thing, and my two extra batteries died, because they've been used, hadn't been charging, and it was in the camera, it's being used, so it died. And then I couldn't show you what I was getting. So we're just gonna keep going here. So as you can see, or as you will have seen by now, I got some pretty cool stuff. So you already saw the two Jigglypuffs. Um, literally, I realized my camera was dead as I was gonna show you the Viper that you're seeing here now. And then uh, right after that, I got Machop. Y'all know what Machop means. That, that's, that's three Machops. I get my Hulk. Done. And then right after that, I also got Clefairy. Don't need it, but it's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, so we're at five shinies now. It is 325. I decided not to go to the park. Uh, there was a rainstorm that was going to be coming in soon, and I just didn't feel like going all the way to the park, getting so much stuff packed up just to come back a very short time later because of the rain. So decided just to skip the park for today. Uh, I'll probably do the park tomorrow for a bit. And I mean, once we know what's going on tomorrow, of course, because we don't know yet what's going to happen. But yeah, so it's been, it's been a great day. I've got five shinies. This is absolutely not even close to on par with what we saw for Philly Day. Um, because Philly Day, we saw a lot more shinies. Um, I know the spawn count was about the same. Like it was probably about on par with what we're seeing today. But the shiny rate was higher. And I think that's where a lot of people are really thrown. Because there's not as many shinies as you'd expect for a go fest now some people have argued well why are we expecting as much for a normal go fest as we do for this and the answer is very clear like this is a go fest it's go fest from home it's two days but we're still spending just as much time and i think people are expecting equivalent levels of shininess so two days of go fest you're expecting i guess around 40 or 50 shinies i i don't know anybody who's even hit 30 today uh, most people, single digits, maybe double digits. I think The King, Fleece King, did 20, if I recall what I saw on Twitter. Absolutely not the expected amount. But now that I have battery and camera uh, going forward, the next shinies you're going to see are going to be the fresh ones. But I'll talk to you soon. Thank you for tuning in. Hey, folks, this is shiny number five. It is a shiny Mudkip. Um, happy to have this. Uh, this is the first one in the water that I got today. But... Um, let me show you the, the wife's most recent shiny. See if I can get it to focus and get... There you go. Now you're seeing it in focus. There you go. See, they do exist, just not for me. Yeah, she got a shiny unknown. But yes, we got our sixth shiny, shiny mudkip. Uh, we are going to keep going. Uh, we are keep trudging along, and we are going to keep trying to catch even more shinies before the end. Uh, we have two and a half hours left to go, and we're doing, I think, fairly well compared to what we were reporting much earlier on in the event. So I'm very happy, and I'm excited to keep catching. So we'll talk to you soon. Hey, folks. This is shiny number seven, shiny Pikachu hat Bulbasaur. So we are going to... I thought, he, I thought he, I, when he was popping up. I'm like, he looks lighter than usual. And then he sparkled. So yeah, perfect. All right. <laughs> so that is shiny number seven. And there we go. Shiny number seven. I finally got a grass one. It's good. No, it, it, it just it doesn't love me. Oh, well, this low CP, so that's all that matters. Easy to catch. Uses all those great other regular Pokeballs I've got saved up because I've gotten so many today. It's not like I had a lot coming in, haven't used a lot, and I've gotten my bunch of gifts. So tis what it is. All right, we have just over an hour left in the event, so we're about to head into the battle for our last time, and then we'll be done for the day. So we'll be back soon. 
Hey folks, it's Medros, and we're on, at the end of the day, the last one you saw was the last one I got. I got seven shinies on the day, so as I mentioned at the beginning of the episode, I got a shiny Groudon. It was a raid in Australia, some people who were in the Discord I belong to uh, were offering runs for that, and we did two. Uh, the first one was shiny, my first Groudon shiny, I was really happy. First two shines I got were Friendship Hour, that was the two Jigglypuffs, and love it, green eyes, just pops. Love that, love that look. Um, next up, over three hours later, I got nothing for the water, fire, and grass. My next one was a shiny Viper in the battle hour. And my first shiny Viper, super happy with that. Not long after that, got my third shiny Machop. Really, really appreciate that one. And that is a really, really great catch. I, I'm stunned and happy. And at the end of the GoFest stuff, we're going to probably evolve this, unless I get something better, which, like, only better than having three shiny gibbles. Please, please. <laughs> and then, um, that was the next Friendship Hour, uh, right after the battle one, Clefairy. So that was number five. Number six is my first one during the element ones, so the fire, water, grass, and this shiny mudkip. I have lots of them, but hey, a shiny is a shiny, and I love all shiny. And lastly, we have the Pikachu hat Bulbasaur. Now, I, I just love that it has the visor that you've probably seen at many Pokemon Go Fest in the past, as far as zones. Just love that it has it over the little ear. Just really love this look. It's, it's really cute, super, super adorable, and yeah. So it's perfect. So that is my shiny count for the day. Uh, including the Groudon, if I was to count that, because it is technically a, a GoFest bond of sorts, uh, seven plus the Groudon. So total of eight today, pretty good. Don't know what we're gonna have yet for tomorrow. I don't know if this will be its own video because I did miss out on uh, video for three of those spawns. I don't know if this will actually make it a good video. It, the video for this will not be up right away. It'll probably be up sometime next week if I get it up right away, but really, really excited for that. So that is going to be about it. And uh, whenever this video is done um, and ready to go, you'll see me next telling you how to find me. Cheers. Hold on. We're not quite done. We're not ready for that shiny yet there, buddy. All right. So we have a little bit of news. It's only a tease of news, but it's news and I want to get it out in this video now that I'm almost done editing it. So you've seen GoFest day one, good day, better, could be better, good day overall. And you haven't yet seen GoFest day two, so I'm not gonna spoil you, but we have information on what our next community day could be. And that is we have what we'll be voting for. Now, we don't know where the voting will be happening, but I'm going to assume it'll happen on Twitter like it did happen last time. And we know only who will be voting for, not the conditions of the voting. Mm -hmm. So the options for voting will be Charmander, which already had a community day early in the game. We have Caterpie, which is a beautiful golden shiny. We have Grimer, which as you can see is a green shiny, also has an alone version. And then we also have Porygon, which you can see here as well. Now, all of these are really good shiny choices. I will again point out Charmander already had a community day. Caterpie has not had a community day. Kind of hard to find sometimes. Grimer, well, I've had very little luck with Grimer. Just gonna say that, very little luck. Porygon is the only new shiny. I'm gonna say it here. I'm gonna say this right here, right now. Don't vote Charmander, don't. Any other three options is good. Your primary option should be Porygon. I'd love your second option to be Caterpie, but I'd be just as happy with Grimer. I need three Caterpie and I need like four Grimers assuming that it also gives us the Alolan version as well. So while I appreciate that there are folks who would like Charmander, I don't care at all if it's a great PVP move. No, I already had one. We already had a community day for Charmander. Don't need another one. We need Grimer or Caterpie come in second. Now again, we don't know the moves. We don't know the conditions of the Grimer community day. We don't know what usefulness these Pokemon will have. All we know currently is that Caterpie, Grimer, Charmander, Porygon, those are the choices. So again, I will say, Vote, not Charmander. Porygon should be naturally the first choice. Just say it. We don't have it yet. We don't have a shiny yet for, for Porygon. That should be your first choice. I'd like Grimer, Caterpie to be your second choice. But I think to beat out those who will want Charmander, because I'm sure it'll have a PvP moveset, and while I am frustrated by the amount of things that happen in this game for the PvP moveset and for the PvP players as of late, and let's be clear, most of what's happened lately has been for the PvPers. It's not for the Raiders, it's not for the Jimmers, it's not for those who just like to collect. They do stuff for the PvPers, and I'd like to move past that. So, I hope we will have really cool choices for September and October. 
I hope you'll vote properly and wisely. And please do vote when the poll goes live, wherever it goes. And now, as promised before, let's get on with that shiny evolution. So originally in this place, you were going to see footage of me making of an evolution, a shiny evolution for you guys. Set up here, you're seeing the final evolution. Unfortunately, my phone did not save the recording of the footage of the evolution. So while I promised you earlier in this video, a shiny evolution of my Machop, my third, or one of my three Machops. Can't see it. Makes me really sad, but I did want to at least show you guys. I did my evolution of my Machamp. My shiny was the lucky one that I got, the first one I got. It was the best one I had. It is now a shiny Machamp. So I will, however, show you the evolution of the middle evolution Pokemon I'm going to have, which is Machoke. So you'll at least get to see half of the evolution, and here we go. So here is our mid mid family filler, our shiny Machoke going on up. And there we have our shiny Machoke. So there, as you can see, we have the full family. We have Machop, Machoke, and Machamp. We have Baby Hulk, Sorta Hulk, and Incredible Hulk. I'm really happy to get these. I'm really happy GoFest gave me that opportunity. And honestly, going to GoFest day one, that is not what I was expecting. Maybe a Gibble, that would be pretty cool. Machop was not on my list of what I was expecting at Shiny, so I'm just happy I got that. And now I have the full family, which I've been hoping for for so long. So there we go. I'm gonna wrap this video up though. I'm gonna give you more thoughts at the end of day two GoFest video, but let's get this wrapped up. So if you like what you see here, please do like and subscribe. Of course, please do follow me on twitch.tv slash Pokemon Go Medros. That is where I do a lot of streaming. I do generally stream the raid hours. I will sometimes also stream the spotlight hours if there's something I'm really looking for. And I will often stream community days. I'll be streaming the GoFest makeup day and more. So definitely check that out. And of course, thank you all for coming. So we'll see you next time. In the meantime, take care. Have a hand with those Pokemon. Don't forget to catch them all. Cheers.